Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Gone Home. In the last episode, Lonnie finally left for um army training. What do you call? Boot camp? Boot camp. Um and now Sam is alone. So we're going to go through there's a bunch of like secret rooms that we discovered that I didn't have time to go over in the last episode. I'm sorry. I'm shedding like mad right now. But uh, this video is going to be uh, late today. It's probably going to come out closer to 8 o'clock at night instead of our 2 o'clock just because... Uh, and there, there was no video yesterday and that was because uh, I did take a vacation. I was out of state for probably about five days. Um, and I had to ride like four different planes and I was just exhausted. So I came home and I just, I just took a day to just relax. Um, I have that portal episode already recorded, but I just didn't have the energy to edit it So we are a little bit behind, but we're gonna go right back into it now. Anyways, so I was looking at this midnight June 5th Okay, secret door for the foyer. I'm hoping all of this is marked now. Yeah, okay, so all of these hidden rooms are marked um Okay, so I don't know exactly how much we've seen uh, in the way of the secret stuff. I can't really remember, but we're gonna go to that one because that seems pretty important and I think this is the end of the exploring here. Yeah, because I can't go out there. There's no point. That's outside. And this leads to the dining room, which I've already been in. Alright, sweet. So I'm gonna meander. Lonnie oh god. Going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. And I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Hmm. Well, I accidentally found that, so... Can't- okay, where's the lights? Where are lights? Okay, the law of lights say that I should have light. Please give me some- okay. Hi, Mom and Dad. And Sam, I have had a wonderful time on the beaches of Barcelona. Dad and Sam, I think you would like the gaudy architecture. It is from a strange alien world. I'm headed to my final destination, Amsterdam. For how long? That depends. I'm running low on money. I will look for a cheap standby ticket and call you when I'm headed home. Sorry for the short notice. Can't wait to see you all again. It'll be good to be home. Love, Katie. Okay. I don't know what that was. I just walked up to that. The panel was already down. I don't- I don't know about that. I- I didn't- Yeah, I didn't even know that was there. So, uh, sorry for that random cut back in, but, uh, back to meandering. Okay, if my calculations are correct- There we go. Oh! I'll just squeeze in here. All right, secret room. Oh my god, they were doing satanic rituals in the fucking house. Oh no. <gasps> Oscar. Oh my god. Oh no, they were trying to talk to spirits. Honey snaps, fuel for winners. You know what's not a fuel for winners? Satanism. Possession and exorcism. Interacting with the supernatural. They were trying to talk to somebody. Attic. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic and wait. Is Sam dead? Oh my gosh, I will actually fucking freak out if she is in the attic. I think we've done all the other secret stuff. Wait, what was that? Hang on. I'll go check if we did it all real quick. Okay, looks like we did it all, so we're just gonna open the attic. A 
Sam? Oh. God, I swear. Don't do this to me. She ran away. That's it. Sam, I'll always remember what we had. Stay strong. I love you, Lonnie. Kick ass. Oh my god. Katie. Uh, I fell asleep in the attic. In Lonnie and my old spot. And I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie. On a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me, and us. And that she couldn't go through with it. With the army and being a part, and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can, and get in your car, and come find me. And let's just drive. Until we find somewhere. For us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said yes. Yes. Oh my. Oh, what a good turn. Hello, eyeball. Alkaline fixer. Okay. High contra- oh, oh, developer stuff. Okay, for photos. Oh, those are uniforms, I think? Yeah, I think. And- oh! <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, my baby sister! Oh my god! So Lonnie didn't go through with it. She didn't go through with the basic boot- what did she say? Boot camp? Oh. Letters to Katie. Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person. Is this the end of the game? That I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. And that you won't be sad and you won't hate me. And you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again. Someday. Love, Sam. Okay, that was the end. I did not expect to finish in this episode. I wanted there to be more. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so there is an achievement that is about getting all of the letters that you could have picked up, and I didn't get it, so I'm assuming I missed some stuff. That's the hardest part about games like this, is you never know when they're actually over. Uh, so I didn't know that the end was this episode, but interesting. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do our review right here of Gone Home. So we're gonna start with the story of Gone Home. You play Katie, um, who went on a grand adventure, a grand traveling trip across all of these different places, um, and then comes home to her parents' house to find nobody there. Mom and dad are gone doing whatever. And then Sam, your sister, is just not there. And all you find are these letters from Sam explaining what's happened since you were gone. And you walk through this house finding out that she uh, fell in love with a girl named Lonnie. And mom and dad didn't approve. And she was going through all these things like having trouble in school, uh, having trouble deciding what college to go to, and dealing with the fact that Lonnie, who she's in love with, is gonna go to the army, uh, soon. Somewhere she can't follow. 
and you kind of walk through their relationship and walk through what Sam is going through. Only to find that at the end, Lonnie didn't go to the army. She changed her mind at the last second, and then Sam packed up all of her belongings and just left to be with Lonnie. And that's what you're left with. And that is interesting. So interesting. Okay. And, and of course, the audio in the game is very good. The voice acting in the game is great. You hear mostly Sam, and she. I think that voice actor did a very good job. Um, the atmosphere of the house, the footsteps, the thunder, the creaking of the house, it's all very good, well put together. It does make you feel like it's only one, a couple of hours that you're spending exploring the house in the game versus the long time I took in real life. It does make you feel like you're only doing this for a little bit, um, which is very good. The pacing of the game was good. Uh, the graphics were great. They have to be in these kinds of games because there's a lot of detail in the things that you find. Uh, so I had no issues with that or anything like that. I think, uh, the fact that you had to turn the lights on when you went in every room and every hallway made it feel more real. It made it feel like you truly were alone in the house and you were just exploring what was going on. Uh, trying to figure out where your family is, what everyone's doing, and it, it did solidify that aspect of the game. The controls were easy, it's just WASD and the mouse. Um, but... Overall, with Gone Home, it's a very interesting game. Um, this came, came out a couple years ago, and what I find interesting about this game is the relationship between Sam and Lonnie, and how this game kind of goes through the process that somebody that is LGBTQ might go through um, in high school, when they're finding all this out, when they're falling in love, figuring out who they are, and then trying to present that to the world and seeing what happened when Sam presented that to her parents and how the, the fact that the devs even wandered into that territory on a game that was made years ago before coming out became like a big thing and, and I don't mean that in an offensive way um I mean like you go like eight years back coming out was a really really it still is but it was incredibly hard in the early 2000s stuff like that it, it wasn't something that was as common as today and I am glad that it's common because that means that there's a lot of support um available from people in the world and a lot of people are like coming around and opening their minds and I'm glad it's common today but back when this game came out it necessarily wasn't so it's interesting that the devs delved into that and focused on that in this game I think it was done very well the idea of the letters of walking around the house having the only voice that you hear being Sam's the only story that you hear being Sam's, um, and then reading what's happening to your parents. I think it was done very well. The pacing of the game was pretty dang good. Um, it didn't have you wandering around the house. There were shortcuts that were set up in every little branch off path of the house, so you didn't have to loop back and forth um, between all of these places. Time and time again, you could kind of just go through it once or twice and pick up all the letters that you find and just do it at your own pace. I feel like it was done very good. The issue that I'm having with this game is how much we don't know about Katie and how much we don't know about Sam and Katie's relationship because while this is great and it's a really nice story to walk through I have an issue figuring out if they were that close you know there's nothing really solidifying Sam and Katie's relationship other than she's the older sister coming back and Sam is explaining herself there's no really solid evidence that Sam and Katie were like joined at the hip or anything like that and I find that a little bit interesting since she's writing all these letters to Katie but it it only talks about what's happening in the now and I understand that you build the world and you talk about what's happening now in the game but in this scenario it might have been better to have some kind of memory function where Katie herself could go back in time and remember times that she was with Sam maybe like a little flashback scenario where there were memories of them together as children playing together instead of just kind of like forcing the player to just accept that Katie is kind of this wall that's just accepting this story I would have liked a deeper connection between the sisters but aside from that I do feel like this game did do really well with the storytelling and of course, it was a great story. I did enjoy it. This game does have incredible reviews. I would say, yeah, I really enjoyed this game. This is one of the better walking sims I've played. Um, it's up there with uh, What Remains of Edith Finch and The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, I think. Those games are kind of the ones that I think of when I play a game like this. And this one is definitely up there because I've played some that are not so up there. So <laughs> I did uh, really enjoy how this game was laid out and paced. This game was particularly interesting uh, for me to walk through, it, it was kind of 
I don't want to say eye-opening, um, but it was it was interesting to walk through it. Um, I've had people in my life who are LGBTQ and they come out to their parents and it turns out really wrong. I've had people turn out really great. The reactions from their parents turn out great. Um, and I've had it not go so well. I never personally came out. I, I went over this a little bit in the series. Um, I never did. I don't have a good relationship with my parents. I've said it time and time again. Um, we aren't like actively fighting each other, but we aren't necessarily close. Uh, we never have been. And there were just events that have happened in the past that really solidified that. And we don't really have a relationship. So I never really felt the need to come out. And to some people that would be kind of suffocating. But to me and the way that I saw it, it was that I knew who I was and I didn't need anybody else's approval or anything like that. And of course, events in my past have led me to have that mindset. A lot of people don't have it. And I understand needing to feel validated or needing to be present in telling people what you are and who you are. And I understand that completely. And I think what this game could also be um, pushing is to be careful. And not necessarily careful about who you are or anything like that, but careful about what you do when you do come out to whoever you come out to, because it can turn very bad. Um, I've advised people in the past, if you're going to come out and it might turn out sour, just have a place you can go, somewhere safe, somewhere that you know you can go in case your parents don't react the way that you want them to, um, because it does happen. And that is a sad reality that parents just react that way and they, they can't accept what is happening um, and things that are apparently like out of their control like they had control over it in the first place like it, it, it's it's something that is very touchy it's a touchy subject I don't want to delve too far into it just because I don't want to be preaching or I think it was very very good it showed people falling in love and then it showed what happens when that love is not accepted as it should be and it is it is very I think it's a very good game it's a staple Definitely something that people, like, everyone should play through, um, at least once, I believe. It is a very touching story. Um, um, I, I absolutely support everything that this game was showing. I am, I think everybody should be able to marry who they want to marry and love who they want to love. I don't think religion or somebody's political views should get in the way of that. I, I, I'll put that out there right now. I don't talk politics very often. I do not like to. I don't talk about anything like that, but I've never been one to to hold any kind of hate in my heart. I don't like to. Uh, there's no point. I don't have enough time on this earth. But again, it just this game just solidifies everything that I kind of learned over a lot of mistakes in my life and a lot of hard times. And that is that you need to be happy. Um, we don't have long on this earth. And I say it nearly every time I finish a game, like something like this with a story that tugs at the heartstrings is we don't have long on this rock, you know? So there's there's no point in in being unhappy or holding back or or having people in your life that are going to prohibit you from being happy when you know exactly who you are. There's there's just no point. So I think this game did a pretty good job. The one fault that I'd say it has again is the res the uh, restricted information between the relationship of the sisters. Um but other than that, I think this game was pretty damn good. I do. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. <sighs> but anyways, guys, this is the finale of our Gone Home series. Um, let me know what you thought of this game. Did you think that the story was well done? You think it was pretty rocky? Do you think the graphics weren't that great? Like, let me know what you guys think and absolutely let Fulbright know what you think. The creators of this game is Fulbright Studios. There will be links to their website and Gone Home's main website where you can learn more about the game and the devs in the description as always. There will also be links to the Steam Store page where you can get this game for I believe about 10 US dollars. So check them out guys, send them some love because without devs we would not have games. But that's it guys, we're gonna have a new series coming onto the channel on Wednesday next week and I just gotta figure out which one. So that's our finale new series next week and yeah, I like this game. I did like it. Very good. Very good. Almost made me cry a couple times. That's how you know it's good. That is it for me, guys. Let me know what you think about this game in the comments down below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe today for some more content in the future. And I will see you guys next week. Have a fantastic day and then out there wherever you are, ladies and gentlemen. And please stay safe. Much love to your faces. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.